Let's uh, start with where you're from. Calcutta. Which part? I'm adopted. I'm not really Indian. Lion is a movie based on a true story about Sheru, a five-year-old Indian boy who got lost at a train station. It also shows his attempt to find his family 26 years later. He convinced his brother Guddu to let him tag along when he went to find work and food. As it was late, Jeru was extremely tired and his older brother told him to stay on a bench in the train station and wait for him to return. He never did. In an attempt to find his brother, Jeru hopped on the nearest train and was whisked 1,600 kilometres away from home instead. Eventually, he ended up in an orphanage and was adopted by an Australian couple. It took this man 26 years to be reunited with his family. Just imagine being lost for that long. Besides the actual plot of the movie, there's a wide variety of subtopics that can be addressed. Firstly, poverty. Although poverty in India has significantly decreased over the last decade, other countries are much more unfortunate, and 10% of the world are living on less than £1.55 a day. The children that live in these deprived countries have to sacrifice their education to find work and food for their families, and they shouldn't have to. The fact that Shuru excelled at sports and school in Australia just proves that these children have so much potential but are let down by poverty and a lack of opportunity. There are literally millions of children living alone on the streets in India. As a child, everything is dangerous, even washing is dangerous. In fact, Shuru says he almost drowned twice in a river trying to wash. If strangers weren't there to save him, he would have died. He also had to learn how to avoid the teenage gangs that would beat him up. Even after being rescued from the streets and adopted, he still faced identity struggles. He was still that lost boy on the inside and being ripped away from his family like that left him traumatised. His adoptive brother, Mantosh, also faced mental illness as a result of his experience in an orphanage. This whole movie highlights the importance of family. No one should have to live on the streets, but children in particular are extremely vulnerable. To think that children as young as Shiru was are currently fighting for their lives on the streets of India is heartbreaking and the coronavirus pandemic is making it even harder for them to survive. When I watched this movie, my eyes were honestly opened. I didn't realise how dangerous it was to be alone and to have to fend for yourself. I'm glad she was safe, but it isn't over yet. The soundtrack matched the movie so well, and the cinematography was so amazing. Each scene pieced together perfectly, bouncing back and forth between young Shiru and adult Shiru, telling two gripping stories at once. I would give this movie a genuine 9 out of 10. The story is breathtaking, the visuals are mesmerising, the overhead shots really emphasise the size of India compared to Little Sheru, and the close-up shots do an amazing job of bringing out the emotion in the scenes, especially the Google Earth scene. The pace of the violins and piano also match the suspense of the film perfectly. I would highly recommend this movie.